Holly's fuel kits simplify fuel system installation and ensure your Sniper EFI system gets the fuel it needs for optimal performance. It's important to note that the Sniper EFI system requires high pressure fuel line do not attempt to use low pressure fuel hose. The Holly Sniper 2 requires an external fuel pressure regulator. The bypass style fuel pressure regulator necessitates running a return line from the regulator back to the tank. Starting with the fuel line, the supply and return line sizes are important to note. They should match the fuel line size to the flow rate of your fuel pump so as not to restrict flow. Fuel pressure should never dip below 58 PSI and your return line pressure should be ideally zero. If your return line has pressure, it indicates a restriction in the line. The master kit includes an OEM grade inline fuel pump that has a 255 liter per hour flow rate the fuel pump should be mounted within 12 to 18 inches of the tank outlet, ideally as close as possible and positioned at or below the tank's bottom level to ensure a gravity-fed setup for proper operation. It also needs to have a pre and post filter. If mounting the fuel pump below the tank isn't feasible, mount it as low as possible and perform a gravity feed test to verify functionality. This test will help determine if the pump can operate in the given configuration. Keep in mind that EFI pumps are designed to push fuel, not pull it. A quick and easy test to make sure you got a good gravity feed is to quickly disconnect the fuel line inlet to the pump once the fuel system has been primed. The pump inlet hose should drain all the fuel from your tank. If the flow is obstructed or simply stops, you don't have a good gravity feed. For connections, use the included EFI rated hose clamps, which are specifically designed for fuel injection systems and provide a secure seal. Avoid worm drive clamps as they might not hold up to the system's increased pressure and flow rates. When installing fuel lines, it's crucial that you take into account any high heat areas and steer clear of any moving parts that could potentially damage the lines. Be careful not to pinch the line during installation as this could lead to serious issues. Additionally, keep 90 degree fittings at a minimum between tank and pump. After routing the fuel lines, use the dowel clamps to securely fasten them in place. If your stock tank doesn't have a dedicated return line inlet, a simple solution is to utilize the factory sending unit to add the bulkhead connector and return tube. Since the factory sending units are easily removable and provided you have enough space, you can easily install an additional line for the return. When installing the fuel return tube, Make sure to place the end below the fuel level about a half inch to one inch from the tank's bottom and position it away from the fuel pickup. Do not free dump it into the tank as it'll aerate the fuel which can cause cavitation and drivability issues.